Welcome to another episode of Technology in 10, the show that my third grader and my first grader have approved. In this episode, we're going to take a look at what is a PC. Hi, and thank you for joining us once again for our Technology in 10. We're going to talk about what is a personal computer. Before we do that, we have to look at a little bit of history, not too much, just a little bit. Because back in 1981, IBM released the personal computer. Now, I'm not going to argue if this was the first personal computer or what have you, but the reason why I'm saying they released the personal computer is because they trademarked the name. Also back in the day, when IBM came up with their personal computers, there were other companies such as Compaq. Compaq came up with a version of the PC, but couldn't call it a PC because you know it was trademarked. So it was called a PC clone. So any computer that you see, for example, a Dell, a Gateway, an Acer, any of these are technically known as a PC clone. This is something that only the geekiest of geek or the nerdiest of nerds are going to argue over. They have to do with a kind of a guideline, some standards here. Back in the early 80s, when IBM released their PC, they got to define what the standard was. Then around 1987, they were kind of knocked off, they're thrown by Compaq, and Compaq then got to define what the standards were. What kind of uh, operating system stuff they would run, what kind of hardware they could use. Nowadays, it's more of a Wintel standard. Wintel being Windows, Intel, and how they work together. If you're interested in the history of the early computers, I highly recommend a video called Triumph of the Nerds. This is something I used to show my face-to-face -face students back in high school. We have kind of muddied the water maybe a little bit. PCs, as we define them now, are really any personal computer. They could be a desktop, they can be a laptop, they can be tablets. For example, an iPad is a tablet computer. It can be a handheld computer. More or less, a personal computer is any device that's sold to the individual or family. It's not a supercomputer. It's used for your personal work, your personal business, your family's business, those kind of a things. So what about Apple? How does Apple fit into this? Apple was kind of a weird bird, which they always have been, because Apples weren't PCs. They were Macs. They were Apples. Recently, back in 2006, well, I guess it's not recently anymore, but back in 2006, Apple changed their processor, their brains of the computer, to Intel. So again, this is one of those things where everybody else can agree what a PC is, but once you throw this bone to the nerds and the geeks, they fight over it. Again, any computer that's being used for personal use or business use that you, yourself, your family, those are considered personal computers. More powerful computers, like for example, supercomputers, aren't going to be sitting at your desk. That's going to do it for this episode of Technology in 10. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Check back every Technology Tuesday and the contest. The contest, we almost forgot the contest. Check out the shirt. What TV show is this shirt from? Post your answers in the comments below. A winner will be chosen at random and announced in the next episode of Technology in 10. That winner will receive a $20 gift certificate to Think Geek. Alright, until next Technology in 10, I'll see you later. Bye bye for now.